Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a for sale video. Um, I'm doing this video for a very specific reason. There's something that uh, came up as an opportunity that I'm really wanting to get my hands on. And so I've got to sell a few things to cover that in the budget. Uh, so uh, let's get ahead, go ahead and get the kind of rules of the sale out of the way. Uh, I've written in point form down basically what I'm looking for. Uh, if you want to buy a knife, you need to email me, clearkevin at gmail.com, written right there. Uh, that's really important, guys. I've had people miss knives that they wanted because they tried to send a YouTube message and YouTube thought it was spam, so they blocked it and uh, all kinds of things like that. So please don't comment on the video, don't send me a YouTube message, don't message me on Facebook, don't do anything except email clearkevin at gmail.com, okay? And uh, once you email me and say, hey, I want this, I will mark it SPF and I will expect fairly prompt payment as you, as I've already indicated, this is to buy something else and there is a time constraint on that. Okay, so uh, next is prices are in US dollars and they include shipping for everything over $20. I do have three knives here that I'm gonna let go for 20 bucks a piece. If you buy those, uh, I'll expect you to cover the shipping, which uh, will be around eight bucks, okay? Uh, or the other option would be buy two. So if you buy two, both 20, two or three twenty dollar knives, whatever, uh, then that's fine. Um, we'll we'll include the shipping in that case. Finally, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and let's go ahead and get to the knives. First up, I've got a couple of CRKTs. Uh, I do have the boxes for both, uh, and the first one I want to show you is the large jettison. Uh, this guy, there we go. Uh, this guy's a pretty nicely put together knife. Uh, the, the action is quite good, flips well, no blade play. Uh, at least there wasn't last time I checked. Uh, pretty good. And this knife, I wanna say there's a scratch on the blade. I can't find the scratch on the blade, but I feel like I've noticed one. I may not just have the right lighting here. Uh, if there is, it's not very big. And in fact, it's so small that it's difficult to spot, but uh, there was one there. And so full disclosure, there is a small scratch on this blade, but I'm only looking for 20 bucks on it anyway. Uh, so that's a pretty darn good deal. The next, sorry about that. The next CRKT that I've got, is the Amicus. Again, this is a great knife. It's a little heavy for its size, but uh, very functional. Uh, the things that I would say about this one that are maybe less than perfect, uh, there's the lockup. It's a teeny bit late. Um, the blade grind is laid quite a ways back. This is a very, very steep secondary bevel, okay? And the detent is not super strong on this one, all right? So other than that, uh, again, it's in very, very functional condition. There's no issues with that. Uh, it's just those three little points. And again, 20 bucks on that. One more $20 knife, and that is this one, uh, the Cold Steel Pro Light. Uh, again, a good little budget knife from Cold Steel. Uh, you can go ahead and watch my full review if you're wondering about the details on this knife. Uh, it has been used a little. Uh, I'll make sure that it's razor sharp when it goes out to you. It may be razor sharp now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good, but I'll touch it up anyway. Uh, so, uh, again, $20 for the Cold Steel Pro Light. We're going to slowly kind of move up in price here. Uh, the next one I've got here is the Sog Tegral. Now, this one does have a little bit of up and down blade play. You could certainly send it to Sog, uh, and I was planning to do that. Um, the other option is when I, if you put just a little bit of pressure on that, arc lock, it locks up quite solid. So uh, it's just that this lock is not engaging all the way. That's what's causing the blade play. Uh, again, you could send it to SOG and they could probably alleviate most of that for you. Uh, or if you let it break in uh, or go out of your way to push that up a little bit, then you don't get that blade play. But otherwise, very good little knife. Uh, I have not put a ton of use on it. I did use it for, for testing and review uh, and that's about it. Okay, so there you go, Sog Tegral. Uh, I'm looking for $40 on this one. $40 US is a pretty good deal for that knife. Okay, next up, let's get out 
the Kaiser. Okay, this is a knife I love, guys. I'm kind of loath to part with it. However, uh, being things being as they are, uh, I've got to uh, come up with some funds here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let this one go. Uh, what I'm looking for on it is $60. They retail for about $90, so I figure that's a pretty good deal considering uh, this one is in such good shape that there aren't even any marks on this coating. Okay, I guess maybe there's a little mark there. Uh, let's see if you can see it. There you go. You can kind of spot it there. Uh, nothing on the other side. Uh, great knife still. Uh, yes, it has been carried. Yes, it has been used lately, but phenomenal blade. I really, really like this one and I'm kind of sad to part with it. However, my loss is going to be your gain. Now, we're going to kind of keep moving up the ladder here. And I've got this one in the box, which was a mistake. So hold on for a second as I take it out of the box. Uh, next up here, I do have a Spyderco Domino. This is the Bento Box Shop exclusive in blue G10. I want to show you right here that there is a little scratching on the blade. I'm trying to, there we go. See it there? Uh, so very minor, but it is there. And because of that scratching, I'm going to let this one go for 160. Uh, CTS 204P steel, which is uh, an excellent steel. Uh, that's typical of the Bento Box Shop uh, runs. They always do something special with the steel. All right, so Spider Co. Domino 160. And finally, I've got a couple of knives here that are very special. One, in fact, um, that you will be hard pressed to buy anywhere. This is a knife I absolutely love. The Riat Knives Valkyrie 2. This is a phenomenal knife. Uh, I love this thing. Uh, and you are getting an absolute gem if you pick this one up. I'm borrowing that term from our good friend Nick. Uh, but phenomenal knife, no longer available. So you can't buy these anywhere else. Uh, I would like to get 375 on it, but I will accept offers, okay? Uh, so, uh, as I said, uh, I do have something to kind of pay for here fairly shortly. Uh, so that is motivating me. Uh, feel free to make an offer, but in a perfect world, I'd get 375. Uh, I'm willing to consider offers though for a little less than that. Another knife here that is in that very special category. Again, uh, they're not making more of these. Uh, this is the Custom Knife Factory Tegral in M390. By the way, that Valkyrie was in M390 as well. You can see very early lockup there. Uh, phenomenal condition, okay? Uh, there are a couple little marks. I'm gonna see if I can show these to you. There you go. See on the very tip of the pocket clip there. I don't know why it's shadowy today. There we go. Uh, see on the very tip of the pocket clip there, there's just a little bit of rubbing. Uh, I think that's from a particular uh, trip I took in the car and my seatbelt, the plastic part rubbed a little bit on that clip. Okay, literally perfect condition otherwise. All right, and I would like to get 365 on this. Again, I will consider offers. I have one more thing to sell, guys, and this is not a knife. Oh, by the way, this will come with the pouch and the cloth and the card, the little certificate there. Okay, one more thing, and that is this. Uh, this is not an Edge Pro Apex. It is the sort of Chinese knockoff of the Edge Pro Apex. Um, I picked this one up before uh, really a few days before I got a great deal on an actual Edge Pro Apex. And so what happened was I barely used it. This is sharpened only a few knives. Okay, sorry, I was trying to reconfigure it, but I'm not gonna be able to very well. Uh, so uh, this is only sharpened a couple of knives. Let me switch it out for the stones here. We'll come with the stones in the pouch like that. All right. 
So there you go. That's the last thing on the chopping block for today. And I'm looking for only 30 bucks on it. So 30 bucks for a pretty nice sharpener. And that's considerably less than this particular one goes for on eBay. They're closer to uh, 50 on eBay. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's what I've got. As I said, uh, make sure to uh, email clearkevin at gmail.com. Be prompt with your payment, and I will be prompt with shipping. Today is Friday, so I know the weekend's coming right up. Uh, most of these will probably go out Monday. Okay, thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon.